right, now then, I Surrender yeah. is a cover of a Celine Dion track. Yeah. Punchy. I mean, Celine. Mm. Oh. I know. Um, but you have been doing it for years. Yes. Yeah, so particular I, one, haven't you? The first, obviously, it's, it's like 20 years old, that song. And in 2012, when we did our reunion tour, we all did solos, and that was, that was my solo. So it's kind of, it's been with me for a while, but we've, we've given it a bit of a... Now. It just reminds everybody of how brilliant your voice is, though. Mm. You sound oh, so great. Thank you. Oh. Uh, album's out in August. Yes. Uh, it's been inspired by your favourite artist, uh, I yeah. hear. Tell us a little bit more about that. So it, it kind of came from a conversation I was having with my producer that where when I first started singing, I was very... I sang very differently to how I do now. It's very Julie Andrews. It's kind of very proper and everything was pronounced perfectly and I was told if I wanted to be a pop singer I needed to rough my voice up a bit. Wow. So it just kind of... I started off with a love of Karen Carpenter and then Whitney Houston mm. and Celine Dion and those kind of singers, I used to just try and copy them. So I feel like that's where my voice has come from really, yeah. in a way, it's just by copying people. <laughs> not a bad place to come from, is it? <laughs> no, Your name's in there. Not bad, yeah. Um, yeah. We've had uh, a couple of questions in uh, yeah. on our socials. Uh, Helen has said, um, Claire, you're my favourite Steps band member. Uh, and my question for you is, what is your favourite song from your new solo album? Ooh, um, God, well, the reason I've picked most of them is because they're my favourite songs, but I think the Carpenters one, which oh, is called Goodbye yeah. to Love, oh. it's... So uh, it was the first song I ever sang in front of an audience that, was, that wasn't my mum and dad. And <laughs> I, I've never sung it again. I never, never did it again. So I always kind of wanted to record it one day. Yeah. And it's the only ballad on the album. Ah, well, funny you should say that because we can have a little exclusive <gasps> listen to that now. No one's oh, heard This is Claire's oh. version of Goodbye to Love. And it's fair to say, you're not just a fan of Karen Carpenter. No. Now then, <laughs> Ross, Vicky, she's taking it to a whole new <laughs> level. It's like super fan plus some. Yeah. Go on. OK, I would like, she was my specialist subject on Mastermind. Yeah. And wow. how many did you get right? I, all of them. All, all of them. them. Oh, wow. That's That's very impressive. All of them. <laughs> and I was Karen Carpenter on Stars in Your Eyes many years ago. Which you know was... what? We've got. No, I'm joking. No, I was talking. Back to the album, though. You've got some duets uh, yeah. on the album as well. Like, who, who you got on there? Who can people look? So forward to? I've got. I'm doing a duet. Um, it's an ABBA song called "Summer Night City" with Andy Bell from Eurasia, oh. which is amazing, and also "No More Tears" with Delta Goodrum. So I've, oh. I feel so lucky to be able to have done a couple of duets on this. I've never done it before, so. They've been very generous with their time and, and their vocals and everything. It's, I'm very lucky. I'm very excited yeah, about nice. it. And Vicky, you, you know, you mentioned the Dementia Choir earlier and you've done so much work with them. And they are going places, aren't they? This was yesterday. Doing a performance for Thank You Day. Uh, so this this is an uh, this is it. There, yes. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. This was St Pancras yesterday. They were just uh, singing with Tony Christie, yeah. and as you, do, was, as you do, as you do, and as you do. spreading great awareness for you know all the amazing work that the carers and volunteers yeah. do, and just you know yeah. focusing on on those for the day. They are um, yeah, they're smashing it. We've got Splendour again this year. Just Brilliant. you know twenty five thousand in the crowd, no biggie. Jeez, they yeah, just nail it. Just deal with it. Yeah, <laughs> quality, yeah. love it. Um, Claire, you've also got some live dates uh, coming up, haven't you? Uh, headlining uh, with Steps at Brighton Pride. Yes. Um, I mean, single stuff's great, album coming out great. You must be looking forward to kind of getting back with the group as well and getting yeah, back out Yeah, it's there. our only show we're doing together this year, so we're having a bit of a break because we did quite a lot in the last five or six years. We kind of, I think we did released four albums in five years. Oh, yeah. wow. So we're just, we're having a break, but yeah, Brighton Pride, it's a big one. So we'll be, that's in on the 6th of August, I yeah. think. Oh, brilliant. It's going to be good. And Ross, we hear that, you know, when you're in stressful situations, you're, you're known for kind of busting out a little tune to keep morale high. I love Ross's would face you like, here. Would you like that, to where are you going with this, Alex? <laughs> I have been known in certain points, in particularly once in Colombia, after we'd just been threatened with guns and slightly robbed, to have done a little bit of, who knows, could be, there's something coming any day, I will know right away, soon as it shows. So, I believe it or not, I train mainly in theatre comedy, a drama school. I was going to say... How I ended up here, <laughs> who knows? I was going to say musical, surely. 
Absolutely. At some point. What's, yeah. what next? Why not? No, no, I'm joking. I do actually do that, and sometimes it goes down well, and sometimes my cameraman looks at me like he wants to strangle. Yeah, me. I mean the scenario is a bit iffy, but you sounded great. Uh, so, um, that's very spot on. Sure about that. <laughs> well, we should say Claire's album Euphoria is released on the 25th of August, and the single I Surrender is out now. Right, we've got some messages, haven't we? Quickly, uh, Grace uh, from Trev says that she thinks I Surrender is absolutely fabulous Thank and you. that she loves you. And Lewis said to you, Vicky, it was lovely to hear you chatting about a caravan holiday as next month I'm taking all four of my grandchildren there for a week Aww. and hope to make some lovely memories. Have a great time. It's the best holiday, yeah. isn't it? And Gayla said, I I'd love to see Ross back in EastEnders, even if it's a short time. He's brilliant actor, presenter, love him. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> um, thank you very much, all of you. You've been lovely Thanks. guests. Yeah, uh, we'll be back tomorrow. And joining us will be Dame Joanna Lumley and Formula One Steve Jones. Have a good oh. evening. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.